wineries, breweries, events, and more. Maya Acosta here with Claire Scotty today. Claire, how are you? I am stoked. Yes. I'm so excited. The weekend is here. <laughs> Tell the people, what is this weekend? This weekend, it is Mountain Festival weekend Woo-hoo. up here in Tehachapi. Yes. Yes. Woo. One of the biggest, I'd say, festivals and events that we have here each year. So looking forward to it. Yes, yes. And so this festival has been running for 61 years. Mm-hmm. It is one of the oldest and one of the biggest. We have 120 vendors. Wow. Uh, arts and crafts, food, salsa, honey, just like cookies. I mean, all kinds of stuff, <laughs> all kinds of stuff. We have tons of bands that are coming to play from 10 a.m. until five o'clock at night. And then the music just keeps going as we're going to talk about here. Yes. And there's going to be bounce houses and water fun and face painting and cotton candy. So much fun. Information about Tehachapi. If you're visiting and you want to learn more, there's tons of information. We have lots of local nonprofits that are going to be there. NASA is going to be there with a meatball and some information about (laughs) our solar system and some of the projects they're doing. So it's amazing. There's going to be merchandise. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Anything that your little heart could want, yes. it'll be there. And it's all <laughs> Tehachapi centric. Love it. <laughs> yes. So, um, but today's episode is not just about Mountain Festival. Right. There's so much other things happening because Mountain Festival does bring in an average of 10,000 people. Holy cow. So, yes. So it's a very, very busy weekend. And we have a lot of residents who are like, see ya yeah. you know they're they're up here because they like the peace and quiet mm-hmm. and i don't blame them at all yeah and so a lot of people kind of head out <laughs> and then we have a whole influx of visitors who come and a ton of businesses really enjoy this and so they have lots of fun events happening as well mm-hmm. um so our vineyards and our breweries they all have fun things happening this weekend and then we're going to get into some other wonderful events also taking place cool okay yeah. so what is going on at the wineries and breweries yes yeah, so with our vineyard Let's start with Dorner Family Vineyard. They have Steve Hill playing on Saturday from one to five. And he is an incredibly talented fiddle player. Oh. And I love every time I go in there and he's playing, I just, I'm drawn to him because his fiddle playing is so beautiful. All right. (laughs) Yeah. So I, I love listening to him. And then on Sunday, Carrie Park will be there from one to five. Over at Stray Leaves, they're going to be open late to coincide with the Green Street Get Down. Nice. Um, so, yeah, so they're going to, you can sit out on their front porch and enjoy the music and just enjoy the whole evening while drinking award-winning wine. Over at Tashby Wine and Cattle Company, they're going to have the Holy Cow Jazz Band <laughs> playing from 3 to 6 on Friday. And then John Schreffler will be there from 2 to 5 on Saturday. And Joey Kuntz will be playing from 2 to 5 on Sunday. And we know Tashby Wine and Cattle Company has a huge, delicious menu that has been very popular. So everything from wine slushies to sangria and then, of course, sandwiches, salads, delicious chimichurri. I mean, so many delicious things. So something for everyone. Over at Tatchby Winery, they have their happy hour on Fridays, um, starting at noon and going until six, and you get 20% off wine purchases. Then on Saturday, they'll have Allison Reynolds playing from two to five. And on Sunday, David Reeves Carpenter will be playing from two to five as well. Over at Triassic, they're open on Fridays from noon to six, and charcuterie will be available all throughout the weekend. And then on Saturday, they'll have Guitar Ted playing, and Poke Express will be there. And then on Sunday, Steve and David Austin will be there. All right. Yeah. So many wonderful things happening. Yes. And then over at our breweries, we have Old West Brewing. They just opened this cantina in, in collaboration with Mango House Lounge. So they are now open from uh, 3 to 9 on Thursdays and two, 12 to 9 on Friday and Saturday. So head on over to Mango House Lounge over there off of Highway 202 and check out Cantina and get yourself a beer. They have a couple really fun beers. One of them is actually actually a mango beer in consideration of Mango House. And then they also have a red ale made with a Mexican chocolate. Oh. And I, I saw that and I was like, ooh. <laughs> I, I'm going to have to try that. That sounds really good. That does sound good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So um, Old West is known for really coming up with some really 
intricate, fun, fun beers. And yeah. they're, they're willing to experiment similar to local craft beer. And West Lane's always good about making those tried and true. Just everyone comes back to them over and over again, because you, you know, it's always going to be that same delicious flavor, right? Over at local craft beer, they're going to have Django Stoffer playing on Saturday at 7 p.m. And then we know every Thursday is their musical open mic night at 630. Friday through Sunday, Lupita's Hot Tamales is there. And then on Wednesdays, Geeks Who Drink Trivia Night starts at 630. And then on the 27th, they're going to have a paint night with As Unique as the Art at 630. And I'm starting to see all of these little, you know, like fall, Halloween. Oh my gosh. You know, all these yep. little paintings starting to come <laughs> through and these hints, you know, and you walk into a store and they've got all the fall foliage and mm-hmm. it's like, I'm not ready yet. No, not ready I'll yet. I'll be ready in a couple weeks. <laughs> <laughs> September hits and then I'm ready. Yes, agreed. <laughs> Over at West Lane, they have their Farmer's Market happy hour specials happening every Thursday through the end of Farmer's Market. And then on Friday, they have Vinyl Night from House of Wax. House of Wax just opened at the Village Collective. They have their own space and they specialize in vinyl records. And so they just opened a couple weeks ago and it was very well received. The whole community was very excited about what they have to offer. And so they've been coming over to West Lane and playing some of those old records and doing some mixes and having a really fun night. So super cool. Yeah. So check that out on Friday and Cub and Gut Pizza will be there. And then on Saturday, the Green Street Get Down. Yes. You know, West Lane's excited to be there to serve local beer and... Yeah, I think we're going to talk a little bit more about that soon with all the fun there is to have with that amazing event. Oh, yeah. And then P-Dubs over there at Mountain Bowling, they're going to have a lot of fun stuff happening this weekend as well. They will have a mechanical bowl. Nice. So after you've had your (laughs) fill of the rodeo, head on over and see if you can master that bowl. (laughs) Try it out yourself. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. It's only $5 and maybe some ego. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that you leave at the foot of the bowl <laughs> and go and try it. It'd be super fun. On Friday, they have Hysteria Way playing from 7 to 11 p.m. And DJ Jamie will also be playing some music between 8 p.m. and 1 a.m. And then on Saturday, they'll have Blue Steel playing from 8 p.m. to midnight. And then DJ Jamie will also be kind of hitting up some tunes throughout the night, uh, also from 8 p.m. to 1 a.m. And then they'll have Fistful of Nickels playing on Sunday from 1 p.m. to 4. So many things happening, and that's not even just Central Park. (laughs) Yes, that was the tip of the iceberg. Yes. Yes. (laughs) Of what is a very jam-packed weekend. Um, Lots of fun to be had. So aside from the wineries and breweries, what is going on? Mountain Festival is here. So let's yes. talk about it. Woo. All right. Cool. So for this year, the 61st annual Tehachapi Mountain Festival, it starts with the rodeo happening Friday and Saturday. Tickets are still available. Make sure you get them before the event because they're not selling tickets at the event. All right. You can pop on their website and you can head over to the Chamber of Commerce, Albertsons, or Hemi Hay to get those tickets. There's $20 for Friday night and $35 for Saturday night. It's a little bit more on Saturday because there's going to be a concert. All right. Yeah, yeah. Justin or Lawrence will be playing on Saturday and everybody all having a new performance called death trap oh Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> sounds ominous yes it does <laughs> um, i'm very excited to go see this um, but it's starting august 16th this okay. weekend love it yes and so they have um these evening showings starting at 7 30 on the 16th and 17th 23rd and 24th and 30th and 31st and then they have those matinees happening at 2 p.m on august 24th 25th and September 1st. So head over to tctaonstage.com to get the tickets for Death Trap. And I believe there's an episode talking all about what Death Trap is and the making of it and all the exciting things leading up to it on to Hatchpot. Yes, there is. (laughs) (laughs) We have the Mountain Gallop 5K happening early in the morning on Saturday. That starts at 7 a.m. That is run by our TVRPD. 
and that will be starting at the Aspen Builders Activity Center in West Park. And the mass race starts at 7 a.m. So make sure you get there early. The weather is looking very nice. When I when I checked my weather, it said 70s. Love that. So yes. Yeah, so if you're a runner, jogger, walker, it's gonna be a perfect temperature to get out there and move your arms and legs and get warmed up for this weekend. Yes, get that exercise in so then the rest of the weekend you can feel really good and accomplished and you can just kick back and enjoy the fun. Yes. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> and then we'll have a pancake breakfast happening at the American Legion post 221. And this is also hosted by Christian Life Assembly, their kids program. And they come over and they serve all the pancakes and the delicious breakfast. And this is an opportunity for them to raise some funds to get some of their projects accomplished. Cool. So wonderful opportunity. That is from 7 to 930 over at the American Post, American Legion Post, 221. And that's over at 125 East F Street. The Mountain Festival Parade will start at 10 a.m. But if you're in the parade, you're going to want to start coming and staging around 8 a.m. on Mulberry Street. And you've probably already gotten all the information (laughs) about where to meet and safeties and do's and don'ts because we're going to have a wonderful, safe, fun, festive mountain festival parade. Hooray. And that brings everyone into Central Park. Mm -hmm. So we all we all gather on F Street and we watch wonderful parade goers, some of our local businesses, organizations, cheerleaders, like so many groups in our community are there to celebrate and give their community cheer. And then everybody heads over to Central Park for the arts and crafts fair, entertainment. So much fun. Starting at 10 a.m. Saturday and Sunday, there's going to be over 120 vendors, amazing arts and crafts, clothing, jewelry, food galore. (laughs) So much food um, from Thai food to you know, healthier sandwiches and salads to ice creams and some of the more, you know, um, like funnel cakes and festival fare. Yum. Yes. <laughs> and those kiddos are going to love the ice creams. And we also have an authentic soda wagon. <gasps> oh, how fun. Yeah, super excited about <laughs> this. So it's, it's an old fashioned wagon and there's like root beers, sarsaparillas, I, you know, orange cream sodas, you know, just like all of those authentic sodas that you know we might have grown up with and we've kind of lost some of that yeah and so this is really going to harken back and give people some nostalgia because it's it's going to be so fun and delicious nice so make sure you bring some some cash bring some cash on you so (laughs) you know if you see something you love and you can't walk away without Mm -hmm. then you can get it (laughs) and support all those wonderful local businesses that will be there And then there's going to be a huge fun zone, little entertainment. We'll be bringing out a ton of bounce houses. There's going to be um, games and face painting and so many fun activities so that those kiddos also have a fun time. And of course, we can't forget all the entertainment. Of course not. Starting at 10 a.m., Metal Shop will be kicking us off. And Metal Shop really specializes in a lot of different, like, alternative rock. Cool. um, Starting from 70s, 80s. And they sometimes bring, like, these blow-up guitars. Okay. And so the kiddos can, like, rock out with them. Nice. These little blow-up guitars. And they just make it so fun. They're very engaging with the audience. And so you want to get there at 10 so you can really get in on that. And then starting around 12, 15, Flashback will be playing. And then at 2.30, there'll be line dancing by Heart and Soul Line Dance. So a chance to get up out of that lawn chair and dance with everyone and just let loose. (laughs) (laughs) And then at 3.30, Lazy Dog Mountain Band will be finishing off the festivities there at the park. But all the the wonderful celebrating and dancing and music will move downtown. Yes, make its way to Green Street (laughs) for the Green Street Get Down. Yes. (laughs) Woohoo! We're super excited for this. This is going to be 5.30, kicking off um, until probably about 10. They're right on Green and F Street, um, celebrating our Tatchby heritage, going back to the early 1900s when electricity first made its way to Tatchby and the townspeople celebrated by having a dance on Green Street. So we are 
bringing that tradition back through Mountain Festival. We're going to have music. It's going to be everything, a free concert. Um, so Joe Peters will kick us off at 530. And then we will have Yachty by Nature starting at about 730. Um, and it's going to be a great time. Yeah. Lots of beer. <laughs> um, we'll have some snacks, places for people to sit, places for people to dance and enjoy the music. Um, and it will just be a great family fun time, way to connect with the community. And again, it is free. Free. (laughs) Can't, I mean, this, everything is free. I mean, so music from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Yes. For free. I mean, you can't find that anymore. No, you really can't. (laughs) You can't. (laughs) And they're, and they're amazing bands. Yes. You know, it's, they're, they're really high quality, fun bands and they're family friendly. Yeah. So yeah, it really, it doesn't get much better than that. No. Very excited for (laughs) it. We hope everybody comes out and enjoys. Yes, absolutely. And then Sunday, the fun continues um, over at Central Park. It starts with a church service at 9 a.m. by um, Christian Life Assembly. And so that's an awesome opportunity. And they have a great band, too. So they have this gospel choir that comes out and they sing. And you hear them all throughout the neighborhood. And it's such a cool way to start that Sunday. And then all the arts and crafts vendors will be up and running by 10. And so, again, another fun full day um, with our, you know, head over to our beer garden Saturday, Sunday. We'll have all local beer from local craft beer, West Lane, and Old West Beer and Brewing. And then we also have P-Dubs Mountain Brewing. So we're going to have all local beer, but also all domestics, imports, tons of stuff to choose from cool so and it's, it'll be very comfortable we'll have shade we'll have misters if needed it'll be a, just a wonderful space to sit back and enjoy a little drink and the entertainment right in front of you yes yeah and then for the entertainment bear mountain boys will be starting us off and then we're going to have black gold cloggers at 12 30. they're a fun local group of this you know just here in the clogging and then <laughs> they always get everybody out of their seats love it so yeah that's super super fun and then aerial garden will be coming with their acrobatic performances from one to two cool and then blue mountain tribe will be finishing off the weekend for us as everyone kind of starts packing up to Head home. No. <laughs> I know. But, uh, I mean, what what an amazing, amazing weekend. And that's, I mean, it's not just at Central Park. Right. right? So we'll have the Gem and Mineral Show. That will be happening at 500 East F Street. And that will be from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And on Saturday, they'll be doing it 9 to 5. And on Sunday, I believe they'll be um, maybe wrapping up a little bit earlier, maybe closer to 4. But they bring all kinds of, you know, like um, beads, crystals, fossils, you know, cool. all kinds of really fun stuff. And that's always been a huge hit. And then we have the Maker's Market happening at Railroad Park by TVAA. And they get going too right around 10 a.m. and they pack it up around four or five. So lots, again, wonderful local artisans, local crafters, and wherever you turn <laughs> into Hatchaby, there's just stuff that's going to blow your mind. Yes. I mean, the talent up here is incredible. <laughs> This, I mean, it's just going to be an amazing weekend, but we could not do it without our partners and our sponsors. First of all, the city of Tehachapi, I mean, we could, this, this event would not be possible without the partnership with the city. So thank you so much. And also TVRPD, you know, we're collaborating and working at Central Park and, you know, they're making sure that everything's working and that, you know, we have support throughout the days and, you know, we get there and we're spray painting their grass and we're, you know, <laughs> we're trying our best not to tear anything up, but, you know, it's like we, we're hard on that park yeah. for 48 hours. <laughs> so... I'm so great, grateful and thankful for all of the partnerships. And we also are super thankful. Thank you, thank you, thank you for WM, Terrigen Operating Company, Tatchby Cement, P-Dubs, Mountain Bowling. And then we have the Loop Newspaper as a wonderful partner, the Village Collective, Saracoso Community College, All to One Federal Credit Union, Wood Family Funeral Services, the Woods Pavilion, Robinson Welding Supply, Knight Building Systems, 
Our beer garden sponsors this year are P-Dubs Mountain Bowling and Valley Strong Federal Credit Union. Thank you very much. And we've also gotten some fun coasters printed. Oh. <laughs> so you can like take home a commemorative little coaster. Cool. Yay. And then we have our entertainment sponsors, Cal Wind and Little Entertainment. Thank you. Thank you. And then we also have Pierce Renewables, Chicago Title, First American Mortgage, and we have a couple community sponsors as well. We have the Tatchby Amateur Radio Association. They're going to be helping with communication. Awesome. So making sure that nobody gets left out of the loop. If any vendors need anything, they can reach out and contact in multiple ways. Awesome. And then we also have our Tatchby Queens and the, pa- the local pageant. And they're going to be out there volunteering, making sure that everybody's doing good and, and um, everybody has what they need. Lovely. Yes. Couldn't do it without the help of all of these amazing community organizations. It is awesome to see how many people, groups, organizations come together for events like these to make it happen because one person, one group cannot pull off something like this alone. It is really a community effort and it's for the community too. So just yes, great stuff. It is. It's great. And and any proceeds or funds that are brought in by this event also helps to keep the programs going at the chamber to help support our local businesses. So if we have a stellar event, all of that goes back into our community and helps support our businesses in all the ways that they need. So it's it's really a truly phenomenal event. Yes, we love it. Yes. All right. So there is just so much to do this weekend. And if you didn't catch it all, because there's a lot, yep. you can go to Discover Tatchby to learn more about what's going on at the wineries and breweries and Tatchby.com uh, to get you to the Mountain Fest page and to see the full rundown of events. So lots of resources there for you to go back in review and uh, put things in your calendar for what you, for what you want to do. Yes, yes. Information everywhere. So um, feel free to reach out and have a great weekend out there, everybody. Yes, we're super excited. Can't wait to see everybody out there having fun. Um, And for more information on Green Street Good Down, you can also go to the city's social media pages at City of Tatchby for more on that. But as always, if you're listening and have any event or activity that you want added to this list, be sure to email us media at tatchbycityhall.com and we will get that included. Claire, thank you as always for bringing in all of this information. We're busy this weekend, so yes, we thanks are. thanks for that. <laughs> yes, well, thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure. Of course. All right, everybody listening in, thanks for tuning in. We hope you tune back next time here on Tatchbox.